Hi everyone. This is the third time I've tried this tonight. Um, I'm going to see if anybody pops on besides me because I messed up. Oops, I messed up earlier and put it on the Cards for Christ, which was great, except that nobody knew where I was at. And so, let's see who just popped on. I'm going to put my glasses on. I apologize if there's a glare. There probably will be. There seems to always be a glare. Hey, Sandy. I hope you're having a good Monday evening. I am waiting just a couple of minutes for other people to hop on. I'm hoping others hop on. Um, you'll have to excuse me. I have allergies. I have allergies year-round. It doesn't matter what I do. I just seem to always have allergies. So anyway, we're going to do two projects tonight. So I hope that you're able to stick around and, and uh, see everything. So if you're on because it's not telling me that people are on. I just happened to see Sandy's name pop up. But if you're on, would you please say hello and how are you and all that stuff, because we do have two, two projects tonight. And uh, it'll be the first time ever that I've done two. So I'm kind of excited about it. And I'm uh, back to using one of my favorite stamp sets, which is always fun. Uh, to give you a hint, it has to do with barnyard animals, so if you can think of a barnyard animal, feel free to comment what that animal might be. Okay. Today has been a wild day for me. I have been rushing around doing a hundred different things. Hi, Sherry. Good to see you. If you can see me, say hello. If you can hear me, say hello. So I know you can hear and see me tonight. I'm going to sit back in my chair and just see what you can see. I'm looking at everything behind me. Hey, girl. Glad you're here. It's good to see you. We're going to do two projects tonight, Sherry, so that's exciting. And uh, I want to see if I can see the comments on my phone because maybe I'll be able to track comments better that way. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I'll. I'll sit oh, back in my chair. That's a problem. It's going to let me, y'all guys, hear everything I say. But it might. I might be able to keep it on silent and still see comments. So we're gonna we're gonna give that a try this evening. Now remember, as always, I love comments. I love seeing what people are saying, and uh, I have a program that randomly chooses. Uh, winners and so uh, if you're talking to me and everything and giving me comments and stuff you've got a good chance of winning probably whatever we're working on tonight maybe one of the items so we'll see but anyway I hope you're all doing okay so far it looks like Sherry's the only one that's on at the moment which that's okay sometimes people are really busy right so I uh, just hope everybody can come by and say hello and do fun things with us. And I didn't realize there was this invite button that I could push. <laughs> I'm going to start inviting people if they don't show up. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> oh, that's funny, isn't it? <laughs> oh, goodness. See, I'm just looking to see who all's here. Sherry, you're here. That's good. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? Since we're already about four minutes into this, I want to go ahead and get started because, like I said, I do have two projects tonight. Uh, before I get started, I want to remind you that... Uh, Oh, Sherry's asking about the, the skunk or the polecat, as she's calling it. Uh, we went walking on the river on Sunday afternoon, and I love that river walk because you can see all of the... Hi, Tina. You can see deer. You can see skunks. I've seen skunks a lot out there. I've also seen deer out there a lot. You can see the different kinds of ducks. Hi, Misty. That's why I tell everybody... Hi, Deborah. That's why I tell everybody, be sure and uh, go to the out there and look, but watch watch out because there are 
our critters out there that aren't used to people, or maybe they are used to people because there's so many of us. So um, out there walking that, it's a beautiful, beautiful bird park is like gorgeous and it's for bikers and walkers and everybody. So, but no, he did not, he slash she, she, I don't know what it was, uh, did not spray us. As a matter of fact, my husband got really close to it and I'm going, Oh, don't get too close, don't get too close, because I did not want to drive home with him smelling like skunk. But no, it was a good-natured little fella, just ran across the street in front of, or across the little path in front of us. Thank you, Tina. I got it cut on Friday. She says she likes my hair. I got it cut on Friday, and I'm still playing with how I want to do my bangs. I kind of like them down, and then I kind of like them off to the side. So today, I just kind of went all natural with them, and... Uh, I'm I'm just I like it. It's it's cool. It's it's just fun. So I was kind of concerned because we have a wedding coming up on the 24th. My son's getting married, and I thought, what if I butcher my hair, and then I have this awful hair to do? <laughs> so it's like, oh no, I can't do it. I can't do it. And I just said, just do it. So I have the best hairdresser in the world. Her name is Vicky, and she. She said, Rhonda, it'll be cute. It'll be cute. You have the right face for it. It'll be cute. And I'm going, mm, okay. <laughs> so we did it. But anyway, I was just saying that we are about to get started. I want to remind everybody, if you're not a Paper, pump, paper Pumpkin subscriber, uh, August 10th is the last day you can subscribe for the August kit. And it's going to be really cute. It looks like it's going to be like little gift bags. And they're using all fall colors. I think it's going to be really sweet. So if you want to do that, um, it's just my my web page. It's Gibson Girl Stamper at uh, Gibson Girl Stamper dot Stampin' Up dot net. That's a big old long one, uh, but that's what it is. And you just go there and you can go to you can subscribe or you can go on to my blog, which is just Rhonda Gibson dot net. Go to Stampin' Up, look on the right hand side, and it says subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. Click there and you're on your way. Okay, so that's the Paper Pumpkin spiel. I also want to remind everybody that this month is Extra Extra Month, which means if you want to be a part of my team, which we have a new team member. Her name is Lily Davis. She signed on today, and she took advantage of the $99 kit that you get $155 in. So for $99, you get $155 in product, plus you get a 20% discount on all your purchases after that. And uh, for two months, you get a free website so that you can sell if you want to. If you just want to be a hobby demonstrator, that's okay too. Uh, I do not pressure anybody. I remind you over and over again because it's such a good deal. And it's only going to be for the rest of this month and then it'll be something different. Uh, not necessarily a big sell. It'll be the, back to the $99. You'll get $125 instead of the $155. So, still a great deal. But if you love Stampin' Up! like the rest of us do, then you're going to love this deal. So, that's going on. Uh, my promotion right now, because I'm trying to reach my silver, is when you purchase five combos, which is two, um, which I don't have any right here with me, but that's okay. Two of the blender pens, you guys have seen me use them. When you buy two of those, uh, five sets of those combos of two, I will give you a combo for free as a thank you for signing up for that, for those, for ordering those, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Whew, let's see, what else is there to tell you? Um, right now I have another little thing that I started tonight. You'll see it here in just a minute. I'll, when I put the camera down, I'll tell you about it. It's a, it's, a, it's a fun thing, too. So I'm just trying really hard to hit that goal, become a silver. And as I've said before, if you place an order with me from Jan July 15th, when I started asking you to, to September 30th, when I make silver, you know, so I said when, when I make silver, uh, I'm going to send everybody who has ordered from me something silver from our catalog. I'm not sure what yet. It's going to be a surprise to all of us, but we're going to celebrate me going into a, becoming a silver, and so that'll be fun, okay? So anyway, without further ado, because we do have two projects, I have never done two before, but we have two so since we have two, I want to go ahead and get us started, okay? So I am going to, before I do that, I'm going to scroll down. And uh, my phone, I don't even know what I did with my phone. Oh, I said it in front of me. I just want to see. See, it doesn't really show me either, the comments. So 
I'm just going to say hello again. I have to do this with Facebook for some reason. I have to comment every so often so that I can see your comments. So that's just a part of this game. Hi, Julie. I'm glad to see you come by today. Pretty as ever. So anyway, guys, we're going to get started. And I'm going to lower the camera. Um, I'll try to remember to remind you to open your eyes. If it makes you seasick, close those eyes because I don't want you sick because this is really going to be fun. Okay? It's going to be simple and fun. So here we go. You're going down, 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 down. Ooh, there. That looks about right. And I'm going to have to put the glasses back on so I can see. But as you can tell, I kind of laid this across my surprise. Um, but this is the new thing that I'm trying, like I said, to earn the money to become a silver. So if you place a minimum order of $35 before shipping a tax between Tuesday, which is tomorrow, August 6th, to Saturday, August 10th, I, it says and I, I will send you uh, a Stampin' Up! Blender marker of your choice. You get to choose. So as soon as that, I get notification or you send me a text message or an email or a text, when I say text message, I mean private. When you send me a private message or an email, which my email is um, Gibson Girl Stamper at gmail.com. You can let me know and say, hey, I, I did it. And as soon as I know that, then you can also at the same time tell me what color of Stampin' Up! marker you'd like to have. It's the Stamper, Stampin' Blender marker. You can let me know. Okay, guys? So that's the promotion. Here's the host code. When you go to order this particular thing, or anything really, anything at all, the $35 order, put this host code in for me, please. And that will be a great help to me. And what I do is when I'm the hostess, which is this time I'm the hostess, uh, anything that I get over $150, Stampin' Up! gives me rewards of $150. And, I mean, no, 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 no. When I do $150, when our, our orders reach $150, they start giving me 10%. So on $150, we get 15%. We would get $15. If it was $200, I'd get $20. What I do with that money when I do this type of a promotion is I turn around and I go back and I buy things so that I can give it to you guys. So that's what this host code is all about. It's AJGQM7AB. I think I got it big enough this time, don't you? Okay, guys, I need to see some comments, so I know you're out there still listening to me ramble. And I'm going to get started, okay? So tonight, like I said, we're going to do two projects. Uh, we're going to use this little piggy, which is one of my very favorite sets. I love it because it's got the four different pigs. It's got all of these sayings. It's got hogs and kisses, this little piggy, and then you can put, uh, put it says thanks if you want to on it. And then it says she, uh, let's see, it's over here. She believed she could, so she did. You can add those two together. Um, this little piggy loves you. Uh, you make me happy. So there's just so many cute little sayings in here. There's nine stamps. It is the uh, Clean Mount stamp set, so it's the rubber. So that's that's a fun stamp. Thank you for that heart. I appreciate that. All the hearts let me know that I'm doing an okay job and that you like what I'm showing you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's that. We're going to use it, and I've already pulled out the two the two pigs. One of them are they both upside down to you? How's that? That's better, huh? Or is it? can't tell. Is that better to you? <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see them the right way. I think that's the right way. Anyway, we're going to use these two. We're going to use Stays On ink tonight, the black ink. We're going to use Balmy Blue ink. And we're going to use a dauber, which I have labeled Balmy Blue. Balmy Blue. And then we're going to use the Stampin' Write markers tonight. We're going to use the basic black. We're going to use, I believe this is Smoky Slate. We're going to use, um, I know this one, Flirty Flamingo. It's one of my favorite pinks. We're going to use Garden Green. And we're going to use, I think this is Petal Pink. No, this is Blushing Bride. We're going to use it. Now, these are the Stampin' Write markers, and they are water-based. 
markers, just like our inks, like these inks, okay? That's why I'm going to use the stays on tonight because I want to stamp in black and I don't want my ink to run. So I'm going to use the stays on so that when I color, it'll be pretty, okay? So that's the things that we're using tonight. Want to see the projects? I'm going to show you one. This is so cute and it's so easy to make, guys. Isn't that the cutest thing? It says this little piggy says thanks. And then when you open it up, it's a post-it note holder. Oh, sorry. It's a post-it note holder. So is that not the cutest thing? We're going to use that. This one is made with um, I know what this is made out of. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, let me look. I'm sorry. My, my mind just kind of left me for a minute. I believe this is Calypso Coral. It's not the terracotta tile. Let me look. I have to look at the actual paper. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. I bet this is ma mango. Um, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm looking at my papers. Nope, you know what? It's Grapefruit Grove. This is Grapefruit Grove. I'm sorry. I had it all wrong. So, this color is Grapefruit Grove. This is the Designer Series paper. This is Grapefruit Grove. Another piece of Grapefruit Grove. And then I, I used Whisper White on those. But, we're going to get, tonight we're going to use Flirty Flamingo. So, I'm going to set that right there for just a moment. I'm going to get back in my chair and bounce around a little bit. So, I'm going to, since I'm already got my my stamps mounted I'm gonna move this out of my way and I'm gonna get out my simply chamois because I'm gonna need it guys I love the simply chamois and for eight dollars you can't beat a simply chamois they are the best you know what? I think I'm just gonna take it out of the case tonight because it's bugging me whoops there went my post-it note I kept my post-it, I didn't glue my post-it note in on purpose tonight because I want to show you what it looks like in the other one too. So I'm just going to stick it back in there, upside down. All right, so let's move that to the side. Excuse my hands for just one moment. We're going to use the balmy blue on the second project. Uh, we're going to do this one. So what I've done, guys, is I have, as you can see, I kind of cheat. I have my uh, two and a half by two and a half square. The designer series paper is three by three, and then this part of this designer series paper actually comes from the class that tonight's the last night. It's the uh, craft your heart out class. It's the last night that you can you can order so that I can get get all of the pieces together. But these are the the papers, and see it's the art stuff. Can you see that? Or did I have it too high? This is the art stuff. And I love these papers. And what's kind of neat is, okay, let's say you're thinking, well, that's nice and everything, but I don't want a page paper that has just pencils on it. The other side is this cool hearts and stars and stuff like that that we're using tonight. So I think it's great. So I'm going to put that over there. I just wanted to show it to you. And I wanna, I'll want to, i bring it up closer so you can see them. Can you see those hearts and stuff? Ah, I have some comments. Let me see what everybody's saying. Okay, thank you, Sherry. Anyway, this is a three by three piece that we're going to use. We have another piece of white, Whisper White, and it's three and a fourth by three and a fourth. And then this is seven and a fourth this way by three and a half this way. And I scored it at three and a half on one side, and then I just turned it around on my scoreboard, and I did it at three and a half on the other side also. Then I then you can. Bend it down. You can use your phone folder to crease it so that it stays in place like so. And then you can do the other side. And it just makes it really have a nice little place there. Okay. I'm going to take these off since I've told you the measurements. I will try to remember to put those in the descriptions later. Okay. Everything's falling down on me, guys. And I do apologize for that. So, there we go. All right. Let's see if I can't wiggle things around just a little bit so I can have some room here. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take the three by 
three and a fourth by three and a fourth. I'm going to get my snail out because I do the snail faster. Hopefully we have enough tonight. I may have to hop up and get another one, but I'm going to pop this on. Either that or I may just go to using the, the glue so I don't have to get up. Okay, and all you're going to do is you're going to turn it towards you and you're just going to carefully try to get it as even as you can. You guys know I'm a crooked stamper. There's your first layer. Then you get your three by three and yeah, that was right. I think I'm running out of, of sticky is what the problem was, but maybe not. And you do not need to use as much as I'm using. I don't know why I'm using so much, but I kind of want my hearts to you can tell that this is a paper that the hearts go one way or the other way. So I'm going to make my hearts face me so that whoever gets this, it'll face them. And again, you try not to, don't press it down while you're aligning it. You can kind of like lay it down and then for some reason my hands are saying, no, no, don't work like that. <laughs> I may already have pressed it too much. Okay, guys, sorry. Let's try this one more time. Pour it up just a little bit. Nope, it's still crooked. I'm having a crooked night. Fingers and toes. You would not believe how many times I do this where I just try to make it straight, try to make it straight, try to make it straight. And then other times I just plop it on and it's perfectly straight. There we go. That's better. Okay, now this is our two and a half by two and a half and I do not want to put it on till I stamp it because um, if you if for some reason you have an accident with your stamp you're going to want to be able to flip that piece of paper over if you want to now I am using this little piggy for this and as you can see this little piggy is right here and the words this little piggy is right underneath it I took and cut my words off so the words are actually here. I just cut it, cut it off my stamp because I didn't want that on there tonight. Now there's other times when I want it to be on there and it fits perfectly back on there. I just have to, you know, put it on my stamp block evenly right there. So we're going to get this going. And I'm stamping, stamping, stamping. Don't have to press hard. Now the stays on ink is permanent ink, so try not to drop uh, ink block on your flows if it's possible. Also, it comes with a clear one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For those of you who know me, I count out and then I can raise it and it's perfect. Okay. Um, this comes with a clear top that goes on top of this. And so I just took my double sided tape, ran it over the back side of it, popped it on the top, put this on, pressed it down. And so now every time I don't have to worry about that getting on me. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff but this is the stays on that we sell in our catalog and I wanted to use it because it does not the ink does not run with um, the ink does not run when you um, use the watercolor markers yeah I got it out okay now you may be wondering I don't have a stays on black marker so I am going to take my black marker and I'm going to give my little piggy here this time I'm going to give him just a little bit of something special. So I wanted him to have a few little spots here and there. So I just kind of free handed me some spots. Now you do not have to do this and before I go any further I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color those spots in because I want to give it just a few seconds to dry. Just a few. I'm going to bring it around. I'm taking a little bit of time because I don't want to mess my pig up. Did anybody here grow up on a farm or around pig and pigs and stuff? We had a pig when I was a kid. Her name was Susie. And I loved Susie. And uh, she was a big old sow and she had a whole bunch of piglets and it was wonderful. It's nice to see other people popping on. I have my glasses on, so it's kind of hard to tell who's here, but I'll say hello later, and I'll be sure and like and comment and everything. I appreciate you guys so much. Comment if you want to possibly win one of these projects tonight. Just let me know you're here. Let me know if I'm doing a good job. Ask me any questions you want to. 
it's all great okay just let me know you're here so then I'm going to take my this one's the flirty flamingo whoops nope that's not the end I wanted I want the paintbrush in because it comes it's like the other one it comes in a paintbrush uh, and it also comes in a uh, writing so you can write words and stuff if you want to or if real real fine stuff now I'm trying not to get too close to that black because I don't want it to run into my and it may be dry enough already it's not a big deal and so that's why I was kind of going cautiously around my spots that I gave my little guy or gal whatever you want to call her don't you love the way I'm coloring tonight I don't know why I'm kind of coloring wackadoodle but hey it's all good now this is the flirty flamingo and it does you can do it where it's really light or you can do like I'm doing tonight for some reason and making it really dark I don't know why I guess I'm just putting a little more pressure on there than I have to but I'm making it a little dark okay and I just love how fun this little pig these little pigs are I grew up like I said we didn't we didn't always live on a farm you know we lived in town some too but at one point we had pigs and we had chickens and we had horses I had a horse named Dolly we had dogs and kitties um, I don't remember ever having a cow we probably did at one point I might have just been too young to remember and then um, we had ducks we had a goose at one time I remember her uh, now this is where your fine tip can come in. I'm going around his little tail or her little tail. I'm just doing that. And then I forgot to do his little hoofs, so I'm going to do those real quick too. This really is a fast project, guys. It doesn't take very long. Even the the cutting out of the pieces and everything are really quick, and it's a lot of fun. So I'm focused on coloring at the moment. Now I did get the blushing bride out just because I wanted her ears to have the pink on the inside of the ears. I could have went with, uh, ooh, that blushing bride made it look a little bit too dark. I was kind of hoping it was lighter. It's more of a peach color than a pink. Oh, and I forgot his little nose. I'm going to do his nose black too, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to do it fast, so. His little snout. I'm wondering if those black lines are going to show through his snout now. It probably will once it dries. I hope so. Anyway, so now because I do have him have her pretty dark, I'm going to take my my color lifter and I'm just going to kind of go fast around it just so I can kind of bring out some of that. When it dries, it'll be a little lighter. And the ears too. I don't. I'm not a big fan of how pink how uh, not pinky they came out more um, peachy peachy keen but anyway isn't he cute what do you think do you like oh lots of comments let me check and see what everybody's saying real quick thank you thank you thank you oh I love using these markers too Sherry they're so much fun Tina you had a pet pig when you were growing up <laughs> that's what I'm using Sherry's my blender marker I blended it in um tell me about your pig what's its name Tina okay while she's telling me that I'm gonna go ahead I had a hard time with this one I couldn't decide if I wanted to give it green grass or if I wanted to kind of try to make it look more like a, a mud puddle but I'm thinking that because they have these little pieces right here poking up that they probably intended that to be grass now as our own style of artiste, we do not have to do what they did. Um, I think I'm, eh, it will be okay. I'm going to ground this little piggy a little bit, meaning I'm going to, I don't like it when they look like they're floating in the air. And so you can just take and gently go around stuff and make it look more like, I'm actually going to come right on up here. You don't have to, but I think I will there. And I hopefully have grounded him. I might have messed up by going up too high. I don't know. What do you think? Does it look okay? I want to thank everybody for coming by tonight. I appreciate you taking time out of your day. Hey, Norma. Thank you. Um, taking time out of your day. 
and uh, coming and saying hello to me. Now, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to add him right there. Okay, so we're going to get the snail out again. Like I said, I hope I have enough snail to get me through tonight. If not, I may have to jump up and get... I spoke too soon. Okay, I'm going to have to get up and get a snail. Hold on to one moment, please. You guys are lucky. Everything in my office is at my fingertips, pretty much. So I can just hop up and hop back down. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can always tell when it's new. It just flows better. Okay, so we're going to stick our piggy on here. And this one, I did not put a saying on it on this one. I just put it like this because I'm thinking that maybe whoever gets it might not want to say, you know, like this one, it says thanks. And this one doesn't say anything. You could put a sentiment on there. Uh, see, this is the same idea. You just put a post-it note like so. Now, I would think that this would make a really cute gift to somebody who's starting a new job, maybe, or who uh, might be going to, back to school, or it could go to a teacher. Uh, so, you know, you wouldn't necessarily want to say thanks just yet. You want to <laughs> wait till the end of the school year and say, thank you for sticking in there with my kid. Um, or at least that's kind of how I felt sometimes. <laughs> so, anywho, that was our, that's our little guy there. And I actually did another one that I think is even cuter. In that, I, I got carried away with this little guy. I had so much fun. And I did make a little bit of dirt for him down there. And I put some, I went ahead and made those green. What, which one do you like the best? If you were to, if I was to say, hey, I'm going to gift you with it, which one would you like the best? More comments. You guys are awesome. Keep those comments coming. Looks good. Looks great. So cute. Hi, Sherry. That's my, my good buddy, Sherry Edelman, there. She's my, my good buddy. And with this one, I don't know if you can see it. Sorry, Sherry, I got, I got sidetracked. With this, it's got Wink of Stella on it, which you can do. I do Wink of Stella on just about everything. You could Wink of Stella, this little guy. Can you tell the difference already just by that little bit that I put on him? Can you all see that? Just... I love Wink of Stella. If it's if I can make it shiny, I do. And the Wink of Stella also kind of acts, acts like a watercolor, so it does some blending also. So if you if you don't like the way your stuff looks, you can put just a little bit of Wink of Stella on it and bring out those colors, and it blends it right together. And you got to be careful with the black, or I'll be blending it right into my my pig, and I don't want it to be too blended there. So there we go. I blended that one too. Cool, huh? So we're going to pretend like this is number one, number two, and number three. Which one do you like the best? Love all three. Lighter one. This one. Tina says she likes this one. Uh, and Sherry Munson likes this one. Sweet. So thank you guys. You still can comment and let me know which one you like the best. I'm going to move these to the side because, as promised, we're doing two things tonight. So I thought, you know, if you're going to give that to somebody that's, you know, new and and got a new job or not got a new going to school or whatever, you're going to want to give them a card to go with it. Don't you think so? So we're going to do a card. Um, I might as well just go this way. Uh, this is the top layer. And it is four and a half by three and three fourths. And it's going to be our top layer. This is our first layer that goes on top of the card itself. It is five by four. And then our card is cut at eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a fourth. Okay? So that will be that. And then I have a little piece in here that I'm thinking I'm going to try and see if I like it on the inside once I get it made. But we're going to set it to the side for right now. So, real quick, I'm just going to score. For some reason tonight, I feel the need to put my, my stuff together fast. I think part of the reason is, is because every once in a while when I have pieces, I tend to lose them towards the end, and I hate that. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. So, oh, I think I just used the old piece, and it still had a little bit left in it. Okay, again, I'm making sure that my hearts go the way I want them, but I'm th really seriously thinking I might turn this this way tonight for the card. I'm going to move these out of the way. 
them. I don't need them anymore. And then I'm going to put this here. So what I'm going to do is, as you can tell, this is very simple stamping, guys. Anybody can do it. I'm going to grab my stays on again. I put it away a while ago. And I'm going to stamp my pig. You notice I'm doing the stamping this way this time. There's no rhyme or reason, guys. It's, it's whatever you're most comfortable with. I kind of like doing it that way um, when it's not too big of a piece. That way I can see it. Okay. Now, this is always fun. I'm going to try to center my piggy. I think it's going to go about right. You know what, guys? I got ahead of myself because this little piggy is going to be flying. And remember I told you I had out Balmy Blue? So hang in there with me while I grab the Balmy Blue instead. And I'm going to buy my drop grab my dauber and I'm going to make some sky and this is why I love the daubers they are so fun and you just you give it a light touch you don't go hard on it because if you do it makes that it makes something like this can y'all see that and you don't want a big old glob on your thing so you just kind of wipe some of it off and as much as I hate wasting ink it does not waste that much on this when you're doing something like this okay and this is going to be her in the clouds and she's so happy she's flying this is great for college kids it's great for um, like I said uh, you wanted to do it for retirement that would be kind of cool because a lot of people they think can I do it can I retire is it time yet we're kind of going through that ourselves right now it's like whoo do we want to retire and and go to a smaller income, move to a new location, you know, all of that stuff. I don't know if you guys are aware, some of you are, but not all, but when we do retire, we will be moving from New Mexico into um, Oklahoma. And I'm really excited about moving to Oklahoma. I'm going to miss my kids like crazy, and the grandbabies I'm going to miss like crazy, but it has to be done. If, we moved. We've already got our house there, and I've already been missing my mom and my brother for a long time, and so I get to not miss them anymore, but I have to start missing my fam, my kids and grandkids. But God is good, and we'll get to see each other on holidays, hopefully, and vacations, and we'll just see what we can do. Okay, so back to our piggy. <laughs> you guys, I just put away my ink. How funny am I? Having a funny moment. Okay, there we go. Set that over there. And guys, I always just store my ink pads upside down because that means that the ink will run down, except for these. And Stampin' Up! has already designed them to, to go upside down, so you don't have to do them. Okay, I'm going to try this again. We're going to put her in the sky. She's so happy. She believes she could. Whoa! And she's stuck good to that. Woo! Did y'all see that? I think it's because I had stamped it, I had done that, and then I had it. But it still looks good, don't you think? Not messed up at all. So all I have to do if I want it to be a little bit darker is after I color it, which I'm going to color her again with the Flirty Flamingo. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do her with Flirty Flamingo. And the reason I'm doing her with Flirty Flamingo is because Calypso Coral is, in that, is, the, is one of the dominant colors. That one and this one. And I just like this one better. It's a little bit softer for pigs. Now I like it better for flowers. I really like it with flowers. I'm doing the, the small ends and as you can tell instead of going around with the black I'm kind of going around with the the, the flirt, flirty flamingo. Just getting those lines a little better. And this is a quick card also guys when you start when you start playing with your cards if you're in a hurry you know, think, you know, maybe one or two layers. You don't have to always have all the bling. and Well, you always have to have bling. Who am I kidding? Uh, but you don't have to have, um, like, lace and ribbon and everything. You can, and it's pretty when you do, but I don't always do it. I, I kind of like the bling better, and that's just me. Okay, here we go, and this here is going to be all, all pink. I just think she's so cute. She just looks happy. She thought she could, so she did. How often in life do we 
get that happy feeling and it just shows on our face we thought we could and we did uh, I see it on my kids face every once in a while when they you know they accomplish something great in life uh, both of my kids have children and they every once in a while I'll see them look at their kids and and there's just that happy joy you know they thought they could raise good kids and they did we have one I have the best grandchildren of course I'm sure if you have grandchildren you're saying no I have the best but you know rather than argue with you about it I'm just gonna say I really have the best so there we go so she's painted she's colored and I am gonna take now the black and I'm gonna do her little hoofs real quick I don't know if it's getting hotter in here because I have my lamp on or if it's getting hotter in here because it just is time for it to get hotter in here. I, don't know. I decided to give her black lips. I don't know why, guys. Now I'm going back around this with my black and I might be messing it up. You may not want to do this. I don't know. But I just thought I'm going to just go around with the black. And you don't have to do what I do. You can do these things any way you want to. You could make this card with any stamp set that you have that you think is cute. That's the beauty of this is that we can do. Oh, I've kind of got to be careful with this tail. It's awfully little. I still want my pink to show. Oh, I think I did. There we go. Okay. And then this ear right here is going to have to be finished off. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my my wings. There we go. I'm going to, well, doesn't look like anybody's commented. Maybe it's because I haven't commented. As soon as I get done with her little wings here, they got to dry for just a second because I'm using the, the water paste. I don't know. I'm thinking I still want her ear to be a light pink. So I'm wondering if I could take, I'm going to see if I can do a really soft touch. I have got such a, a hand tonight. It's like, it's really, eh. I don't know why I feel so intense, but I do. All right, it's still pretty red, but I'm going to take that lifter. I'm going to bring that out. See if I can lift it. Oh, see, it's, it's meshing with that black. I got to leave it alone. No more playing with that for right now. Leave it alone, leave it alone. Okay, now, real fast, I'm going to do her ear right there. I'm going to do her wing. Give her silver wings because what angel pig doesn't have silver wings? There we go. All right, guys, there she is. What do you think? Do you like it? I'm going to say something. Just I'm going to comment. Uh and just so that I can see more yep see there went more comments I think maybe that was just mine but we'll check it all right I guess it was just mine okay guys so now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to put it on my card Woo! Got that really close to the edge. A lot closer than I could do. Like I said, you do not have to use this much tape. I'm heavy handed tonight. Don't know why. Okay, and I also don't want to put it on upside down. So I'm going to go in here. And I'm just going to... I'm actually going to kind of put it crooked on purpose just a little bit. Because she's flying up. And I want it to look like she's flying up. And I could have put her on dimensionals and all of that. And since... I didn't get it as dark as I wanted to. I can go over that later with my thing, my uh, stamps. And it says she believes she could. So I'm going to pull out so she did real fast. And I'm going to stick that on the inside really quick. my fingers in that black you don't want to do that and this is kind of small so you can put it I'm going to show you where I put it in just a second oh mm, I hate when I do that you guys are going to go I know what she did as soon as I show you 
So she did. So, so she made a mess of that card. So give me half a second here. I'll be right back. Now, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I am not going to leave that big old smudge in my card. So I'm bringing in my cutter real quick. And I'm going to go four. And cut it four by five. Real fast. And then I'm going to get this out of my way. This is how I create when y'all guys, y'all guys, when y'all guys aren't looking. <laughs> when you all, or y'all, I don't know, suddenly my Oklahoma is coming out. When someone's watching me, there we go. A little better. Okay. Come on, tape. Don't fail me now. Okay. And what I'm going to do, this is how you fix oopsies. I'm going to cover it up. Okay, covered it up. Now, I'm going to make sure that that doesn't happen again. And you know, guys, if I had been really smart, I would have I would have done this before I taped that down again. It is really just, I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm practicing because this stamp block is just a little bit too small. I mean, it's a little bit too big for this stamp. And I'm trying to figure out a way to keep it from messing up and going off the side there. So let me see if that corrected it. Ah, much better. Okay. What I did was I put the stamp on diagonally instead of straight across so that I could get it not, so that it would get even pressure everywhere. So... Please, Lord, let this work. She did. Yay, it worked. All right, guys. Whew. Wouldn't want to have to mess up on camera more than two or three times. More than that, a night's too much. So that's what it looks like so far. Then I'm thinking I want to take... Oh, you know what? Since I put, since I put that white in there, I really don't want to do this because I was just going to put it on here down there, I'm going to put my little accent piece up at the top, up here. Can you see what I'm doing here? And so when you open the card up, it'll open like this. When they open it up, it'll be at the top and they'll still see this. Or I could just leave it off and let them have more room to write, which I'm thinking I'm just going to wait and think on that since I changed it up just a little bit. I'm going to give this a crease one more time. Ta-da, ta-da. And there's our card. So, we have a card, and we have two, I made two of these. I made this one earlier today, if you're just now coming on or you came on late. This one I made earlier. But these two match, and I think they'd make a great gift for somebody. What do you think? Pretty? Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Again, let me really quickly remind you, I'm going to finish coloring my pig really quickly remind you that tonight is the last night that you can um, buy the, the stuff that needs to be bought for the crafting art class, which is the one that I showed you the papers with a while ago. And that's going to have a class that's online that's private. It's going to have uh, six card bases that you can make uh, your own cards out of. It's going to have in that class, I'm going to show you three different types of cards you can use. And um, let's see. It's going to have three ink pads and some markers. So you're, you're getting a, a good deal. But this is the, the stamp set that we're going to use. So tonight's the last night to sign up for it. So once it's done, I'm going to take it after midnight tonight. I'll take it off. All right? So you can either contact me and if you want me to order it, Order the supplies for you. It's fifty-four dollars plus shipping and hand shipping and tax. If you want me to do the ordering for you, you have to email me or text or private message me tonight with your email address, and then I can send you an invoice. You get it paid, and tomorrow I'm ordering all the stuff to do it. So seriously, tonight's the last night for this. 
don't miss out. Okay, I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna bring the camera up. So if you get busy, close your eyes. Bring it up. Hi guys. Okay. And as you can tell, I don't know if you can really tell, but over here is most of everything. That's why I can get stuff pretty quickly. Behind me is, oops, it's backwards to me. Behind me is my paper. On this side, I have most of my stamp sets. I won't lie, that's not all. That's the current ones <laughs> that I have at the moment. I do have a Christmas order coming in. I'm hoping it comes tomorrow before um, I go on a trip. But if it doesn't, I'll have to do my thing later my reveal later or I may just have to show you this stuff after I open it because I'm so excited for it to come but anyway so we're going to do that okay thank you Stacy all right is there anything that I've forgotten remember if you place an order of $35 uh, before shipping a tax I will send you a blender pen a blender marker which looks like this like this whoops how about like that like this and you can order whatever color you want you just have to let me know what you want what you want okay so we've got that going I've got the buy five blender pen combos get one combo from me I've got quite a few things going because I really want that silver so see I even painted my fingernail silver I want the silver so anyway guys thank you so much for coming um Give me just a minute. Let me do my little program here, and I will choose a winner for tonight. And they can let me know if they want the card or the or the post-it note holder. I love this post-it note holder. This is so cute, and it's so fast to do. Okay, give me just a second. Um, it's better that way. I'm not sure. Ooh, that's my lag. All right. Sherry Munson, if you will private message me your uh, address, I will drop this in the mail and let me know which one you want. If you want the card or if you want a post-it note holder and you can have one of those and then... Um, I'll get that off in the mail to you as quickly as I can. If you get it to me tonight, I'll get it in the mail to you tomorrow. But I have to have it as quick as possible because I have a lot of stuff going on tomorrow and I am actually going to be going to Albuquerque tomorrow. So, uh, which will be great fun. Also, just want to remind you that Wednesday morning I will have a video, Tips and More. It will be at 10 a.m. And it will not be live, but... I still would appreciate it if you come. Let me know if you like it, if you don't like it, whatever. Okay, guys? So, remember, if you order anything, use... Oh, there's a glare. Can you see? There. Maybe that's better. If you order anything, use this host code down here that I'm dropping all over the place because I can't tell my right from my left when I'm on this. But it's A-J-G-Q-M-7-A-B. And all you have to do is go to gibsongirlstamper.stampin'up net okay guys all right I think I've probably kept you plenty long enough my videos seem to get longer and longer but thank you thank you thank you so much everybody for coming I appreciate your orders I appreciate you coming and seeing me and I think you guys are the best so until next time this good some girl is saying bye for now